hey there beautiful thank you for clicking my video this wig show and tell is brought to you by nadula hair i'm doing a wig show and tell to show you guys what this wig looks like directly from their wig website i will not be giving a update on this wig when you order they send you a few goodies i got a wig cap that comes with two pieces a elastic edge band head scarf eyelashes makeup brush a bonnet and a silk nadula wig bag Here's a close up on inside of the wig. It comes with a 13 by four parting space. Behind the parting space, you get three combs, another comb and a nape ear with adjustable straps. They also inserted a adjustable elastic band so you can get an extra secure snug fit. And the elastic band is removable so you don't have to wear the elastic band if you don't want to. As for the lace, it is a light tint brown lace. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the package. The wig comes pre-colored, which is in the color P430 Piano Brown Highlight Wig on their website. The hairline comes lightly pre-plucked with some long baby hairs on the forehead for people that would like to utilize the baby hairs. Off camera, I went in and plucked the hairline. The left side of your screen is how the wig hairline comes, and the right side of your screen is my end results on plucking the hairline. Now I'm going to go in and define the curls. I'm going to go in with this Nair Obi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion and I'm just going to pump some of this product all over the hair and this is just going to help give the curls a nice defined look but leaving the hair curls feeling nice and soft, not crunchy and hard. Here's how the wig looks after I'm done putting the product all over it. So now I would like to lightly tint the lace underneath. I'm going to go in with this LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze and just wipe some of that product all over the hairline underneath the lace. So right here, I'm cutting off the extra lace in the front. I am using a eyebrow razor and I'm just taking the eyebrow razor and I'm cutting right along the hairline in little zigzag motions. okay you guys here i am and it is time for the wig install on me this is what the wig looks like the next day fully air dried right there in the back is where i hook my adjustable straps underneath the wig i am going in with a brown stocking cap after trying on the wig the lace is still a little too light on my skin so i'm going in with some leftover foundation on my brush and just wiping that leftover foundation on top of the hairline of the lace. All right, so now the lace is matching more better with my skin. I noticed how the hairline on the wig is a little shorter than my hairline, but I'm still gonna make it work. So now it's time to lay this lace down. I'm gonna go in with this bedhead hardhead spray, and I'm going to spray one layer of this spray on top of the lace. I'm only spraying one layer because this is a wig show and tell, and I'm just gonna take this wig right off after i'm just doing this wig show and tell for anybody's curious on what this wig looks like from the nadula hair website so after i go in and spray it i just blow dry it all warm until it's completely dry if you would like more of a firm hold then i recommend at least two to three layers of spray
So this is how it looks after I sprayed down the hairline with the spray and blow dried it. Now I'm gonna go in and add some baby hairs. Right here, I was so nervous. I did not want to burn myself, but that's why that comb came in handy. I got that comb off of Amazon. It's supposed to help like protect you if you're trying to like curl your baby hairs or anything. So if you're interested in it, I'll be sure to leave it in the description box as well. Now I'm gonna take this Pump It Up spray and spray about two pumps of this onto the baby hair brush. And this is what I use to help swoop my baby hairs in place. Alrighty, now I'm gonna take this Maybelline Fit Me powder in shade 360 and I'm just gonna lightly take some of this powder and apply it on top of the lace to the hairline lace and the parting space. When I add this to the parting space, it's gonna help the parting space pop a little bit more like scalp. And as for the hairline, it also help hide the knots on the lace because I did not go in and bleach the knots. Okay, beautiful. Right here is my end results and I really hope you like it. So again, this wig is from the Nadula Hair website. I'm just doing a wig show and tell for anybody that's curious on what this wig looks like from their website. Or, you know, if you try to look for a new style or you wanted to click my video to support me, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking time to watch. So this wig is pre-colored and I have to go in and color it at all. The curl pattern on the wig is really nice. I like how it's like a loose curl, but not too loose. It still has some formation to it. As for the hair density, I believe the hair density is 150%. It feels like 150%. It looks like 150%. So the hair is not too thick, not too thin. Really nice for every day. As for the hair length, it is 24 inches. My height is 5'6", and right there is where the wig falls on me. Again, this wig comes with a 13 by 4 parting space. You can part this wig in the right, middle, or left. I chose to do a right side part. When I received the wig, I did not go in and wash it, but you do have that option to wash the wig when it comes. It is a virgin hair wig. I didn't go in and bleach the knots. I wanted to keep it simple and beginner friendly. I'm also not sure if you can bleach the knots. The color combination that Nadula hair have going on with this wig is really nice. The highlights isn't too chunky and the way the highlights fade into the color from the roots is nice. I know some people will probably like the highlight to come a little bit more into the roots, but it's okay. I still like it. And I really tried to do my thing on the baby hair. I didn't want too much baby hairs, but I knew I wanted baby hairs. Here's a close up on the lace. The lace could be melted better into my skin. But because, like I said, I'm doing a wig show and tell and I have other wigs to do, I just want to show you guys what this wig looked like. But if you would like more of a nice melt, then I recommend going in with a edge elastic band. Especially if you order from Nadula Hair website, they give you the edge elastic band. Or you can even go in with a... I don't know, just a hairband on the hairline to help melt it in more. When I was styling the wig, I did get shedding. Shedding was low. 
I plucked a lot of hair from the hairline, but after I got all that shedding hair out and I was styling the wig, majority of the shedding did come out, so that is a plus. As for tangling, when I was styling the wig, I didn't get any tangles at all, but it is day one with this wig. And like I said again, this wig is 24 inches and my height is 5'6". If I am correct, I think this wig cap only come in one size. My head circumference is 22 inches. It fits really nice and snug on my head, but what made it extra snug was that elastic band that Nadula hair inserted on the inside of the wig, so thank God for that. But if you have a big head, I do feel like you're in for the clear, and if you have a small head, you're in for the clear still because of that elastic band, and it's crisscross here, adjustable straps real close. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking time to watch, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.